started going into the Himalayas in uh, about the mid 70s and I noticed that uh, the most essential part of a Tibetan diet was a thing called sampa, which is roasted barley. And that's the basis of their diet. And they say that gives them more energy than, you know, all our freeze-dried food. So in later years, I'd go on expeditions, I'd eat the same thing. And I felt like it was the best thing I could possibly eat. I'd come back from those trips healthier than before I went. And so now, I mean, that's what the basis of our sampa soup is. I've been interested in food all my life, and, and I've had it in the back of my head to do a food business someday. I'm very interested in grains, because I think if we want to feed the world, we're not going to feed the world with beef. We're going to have to you know, go to a mostly grain and vegetable diet. It's a really good backpacking food, and, and uh, I, I eat it at home. I mean, it's a great food for college students, you know. And if you add, you know, a few other things into it, you can make a great soup out of it and a complete meal. What we did with clothing, which is show that you can make clothing more responsibly. Now, I want to do the same thing with food. We're taking all our resources and going all the way back to the ground and cleaning up our entire supply chain so that when somebody buys a product from us, they know that we've done as much as we possibly can to make it as responsibly as possible. There's a change in society right now where people are looking for a simpler life and they want to go back and, and eat real food, plant their own garden, and see where food comes from. If we go back to a simpler life, it's not going to be an impoverished life. It's going to be a much richer life. When I'm away from home for a long period of time, you know what I dream about? I dream about my garden. <laughs> and my wife too, but mostly my gardener. <laughs>